Hey guys, I'm Anna Taylor. Today I wanted to talk to you about flying with your guns. Did you know that flying with your guns is very common and it's nothing to be afraid of? In fact, TSA has no interest in infringing on your rights. As a responsibly armed citizen though, it's your responsibility to know TSA regulation in addition to the firearm laws in the state to which you're traveling. Now, the first time I traveled with my guns, I was flying to the Six Hour Academy in Epping, New Hampshire, and transporting multiple handguns, several standard 15 round magazines, and an AR-15. I'd done my homework and I was following all TSA regulations. However, when I entered the airport and walked to the ticket counter to announce that I had guns in tow, my heart was pounding as I imagined myself being tackled by armed security and hauled off for a strip search and questioning. But Quite the opposite happened. The airline staff was awesome, and the TSA member was very friendly. I was asked to unlock the case so he could inspect that all was in order. He filled out a bright orange card, which he dropped into the case before I locked it again. Then they all complimented me on my gun collection and sent me off with safe travel wishes. So here's what you need to know. One, make sure your gun is unloaded. <sighs> Two, you'll need a hard sided locked case. The locking case or box is small enough to fit in your checked luggage, um, then that can be placed inside of your luggage, like this guy. Your suitcase doesn't have to be locked at that point. As long as it's a rigid plastic or metal case with proper lock, it does not have to have a it does not have to be a case made specifically for guns. However, it does need to be lined with a foam. Your magazines, if loaded, must be secured in lined cutouts. Four. If the box itself doesn't lock, but there are loops to place padlocks. There must be a lock through every lock spot. Also, TSA locks are not allowed. TSA locks are usually purchased to place on your luggage in case it's searched, in which case TSA has a key to open these instead of breaking your lock. TSA cannot be able to unlock your case. Five, the only person, uh, or the person checking your bag is the only one who can have access, have the key or the code. Seven, you can travel with ammo, but every round must be transported in a small plastic or cardboard box intended for ammo or in a properly secured magazine, no loose rounds. Seven, upon arriving at the airport, you'll approach the ticket counter and declare your firearm. Now, I recommend actually saying, I am declaring a firearm. Don't walk up to the counter and say, I have a gun. <laughs> Just don't do it. Eight, please, please, please double check your body, pockets, carry-ons before you enter security. I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten what I have in a bag or suitcase. When I, when I search it ahead of time, I'll find a stash of ammo in my backpack or a knife in my side zipper pocket, etc. Also, if you're like me and you wear Dean Adams every day, sometimes you'll forget that you're even carrying. Yes, it does happen. In fact, according to TSA, nearly 3,000 people attempt to bring a firearm in their carry-on luggage each year. This can result in $12,000 in fines and possible jail time. So, thankfully, I have never had an issue because of my check and recheck rituals. However, I have had to throw away a perfectly good knife before entering security checkpoints because I forgot to stick it in my luggage. That sucks. Nine, I know or know the firearm laws of your destination city and state where you're flying, including magazine capacity, ammo types, for example, are hollow points or high velocity rounds like plus P or plus P plus allowed. Also, what are the knife uh, and blade lengths that are legal? Now, you'll find your luggage upon arrival in the luggage office. It won't come off with the rest of the luggage. Here's a few more personal tips I'd like to add. One, always check tsa.gov before you travel to make sure you're following the most up-to-date laws. Two, I only fly Southwest. 
I've had no hassles from them, and my gun case counts as one of my two free bags. When I travel with my husband, he also gets to check two free bags. That's all the luggage we can possibly need, plus two gun cases up to 50 pounds each, which is perfect when we go to training uh, with multiple guns and rifles, and saves uh, an average $300 as compared to other airlines. So, three, if you have questions, call your airline or call TSA, but don't give them your name or travel info. It's just not necessary. And four, keep a non-lethal backup weapon in your luggage that can easily be taken out of your bag once you land. Um, until you're out to your car and you're able to reholster your firearm. I like to keep my Kimber Pepper Blaster handy. Again, in your check luggage, not your carry-on. Five, don't put gun stickers all over your case. No need to announce to the world that you have guns, potentially making yourself an unarmed target. This is no place for your ego. Six, wear your Dean Adams holster while you travel. First off, it's fantastic for keeping your phone, your ID, money, lipstick, or even a tampon secure on your body while you travel. It's very comfortable even for long flights. And once you get uh, land and you can get your gun, you can holster right up, right on your body where your gun should be. You will have to empty the contents of your holster while going through security, just like your pockets, but you won't have to take off your holster because it's considered an undergarment. On that same note, I wear my corset instead of carrying a purse when I go to stadium games. The metal detectors have never been strong enough to, de to detect the steel boning in the corsets. And I can sneak whiskey into games and candy into the theater that way. Just saying. Go to deanadams.com for the best concealed carry holster option. D-E-N-E-A-D-A-M-S. I'm Anna Taylor.